located in Rotterdam, close to Leverhaven and the inner city, in between a busy intersection on one side and a square with vistas over the old harbour on the other side, stands the Maritime Museum. The museum, designed by Wim Quist, was completed in 1987. Since then, several renovations and additions were made. The second square block, on the south side, has been designed by Quist and was built in 2004 to suffice the increased art collection. In 2010, studio Ramin Viss made a redesign for the entrance to have a more attractive space to be welcomed in. The main shape of the building is a horizontal triangle with two straight sides of 72 meters and one side of 102 meters. The facade rises up to a height of 21 meters. Problems Decals can be seen on the concrete walls which is caused by having a bad rain disposal treatment system. Since the museum has already been standing there for over 25 years, it faces similar problems as other dated buildings. At the moment the museum is depending on energy imported from the external grid making the museum not self-sufficient at all. In the Maritime Museum the climate systems need to be able to respond to the high fluctuating numbers of visitors. The flat roof of the museum covers over 3,000 square meters and is not being used in any significant way. The building not only comprises exposition space, but also houses a large library This asks for a very specific climate and it demands a lot from the mechanical systems. How can we reduce the high energy demand of the Maritime Museum by using natural resources without competing with the architectural idea of the architect? By using an adaptive climate system the energy demand will reduce and the building will be able to handle the changing climate condition. Harvesting energy from sun, wind, earth and water which is affordable, reliable and safe increases the longevity and resilience of the building. Having one climate system for heating and cooling the building for both summer and winter forces the system to be used efficiently and thereby more cost effective. Our proposal uses energy that normally would be wasted by exchanging it between subsystems. This will reduce energy costs and greenhouse emissions simultaneously. Air intake located on the opposite side of the square from where the museum is. The air in the tubes cools down, or in the winter heats up, due to the constant temperature of the surrounding soil. After the pre-cooling or preheating, the air is brought up to the right temperature and sent through ducts to the blow in points where VAVs control the airflow. The extended atrium of the museum is converted into a solar chimney. The atrium alone will create a suction due to the rising hot air. The sun will heat up a slab of concrete to improve the suction effect. The PV panels on the roof contribute to the energy needed to further heat or cool the air. The green roof will boost the PV panel's performance, is used for stormwater management and mediates the temperature inside the building.